Unlimited free parking could be on the way out in downtown Paso Robles. Reporter Megan Healy tells us how the city plans to better manage these spaces. Megan? Karina, I am in the heart of downtown Paso Robles where there are more employees than parking spaces, according to the city manager. Now the city wants to free up some of those spots for visitors, but it might come at a price. City officials say employees who park in front of stores take away spots from visitors. The problem with some of our downtown businesses where they have employees there eight hours a day and they come in and take in, take up downtown spaces and that's not good for business. Parking then overflows into neighborhoods. The city council discussed a downtown parking action plan to better manage the spots they already have before they add any new ones. And we'll segue into adding spaces and we can add some surface lots. We can share parking with some existing businesses. And even if those aren't successful, fully successful, that's when we'll build a parking garage. The city wants to start by putting time limits on free parking. If that doesn't work, they'll consider paid meters. Owner of the Park Cinemas 9 says limiting visitors parking time could hurt the city and his customers. People go to the movies, they go to dinner, they go to the ice cream store or the candy store, have coffee. And the reality is, you know, four, four hours or perhaps more. The proposal also includes adding employee and residential parking permits. But before any of that, the city plans to make changes based on the feedback from the community. Parking is a good challenge to have. If we didn't have this challenge, that means we have no business. So this is a good challenge to have. The city manager also tells me if they do enforce paid parking, the money from the meters will help make up the city's budget. Reporting live and local in Paso Robles, Megan Healy, KSBY News. Megan, thank you. The city council will meet again tomorrow to continue discussing the plan.